So I'm facing a dude named Mr. Bo Jangles, which isn't the same guy I checked as the guy who uh, hangs out with Fort Mort, um, unfortunately. But... Yeah, so we got the most Mr. Bojangles. I don't know what... Maybe there's a reference. I, I don't know who Mr. Bojangles is in real life, though. Or in, you know, what reference that is. Um, anyways, we his roster is decent. Like, he's got some relics. Not as many as I do. Um, like, I don't know. His roster's not that scary. Here's here's the thing that's a little frightening. Like, not, not only did he full clear me, he also got... Let's see... He's also he's made Kyber. Oh, I thought he got. I thought he ranked a little higher. Um, but yeah, he's he's got that good negotiator fleet. I probably I'm gonna have to start getting used to people beating my negotiator. Um, I don't see anything we can't beat though. So hopefully we can get that feat. The awesome thing is we can calculate. So we got 2086, which is pretty good. Um, sorry, I just needed to exit that. Did he APK me? I don't think he did. This this is an okay score, but I mean, I tend to get pretty uh, quite a bit better. So he did, he, and he failed against <laughs> failed against my night sisters. It's the it's the night to fail against night sisters. Apparently, I hope he used bounty hunters. In fact, yeah, I don't think he APK'd me. I'm pretty sure he didn't. So, uh, anyways, we've got we got Mother Talzin. We've got the. Uh, I got the so this squad does not. I put I put Treya the Treya trio here because I <laughs> I don't know I, my HK is missing and he's a big part of that squad. So hopefully we can just get done with that and get him back to the squad. And then hopefully next season I'll have uh, I'll be able to have unlocked Malik. So we'll have Malik to mess around with. And on the back he one shot the Ewoks and Geos. My guess is that he's the people are starting to use like nest and stuff on him. I need to check that, but if that's the case, I need to start start being careful with putting Ewoks down, frankly, um, or or put better gear on them or something like that. Um, kick his ass, you best. Thanks. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, so we beat these squads too, one shots, um, and then here's the thing. He did just, like, straight up kill this team without any reinforcements, which, I don't, I don't know, that just seems crazy. Maybe there's, maybe this is just a bad build, I, I don't know, like, it used to be holding for me so well on my main and my alt, and now it seems like it keeps getting beat consistently, so, I, I don't really know. You want me to relic the murder bears? Yeah, sure. No, I <laughs> can't, can't do it, guys. So here's what he's got on defense. He's got he's got Jedi Revan. So this team is pretty legit. We gotta be gotta be careful here. Um, got the shock clones, and then yeah, we like some like this team is garbage. Like I hope hopefully we can use this can be the team that we use to get HK, and we can just like use. If I'm hoping we have General Skywalker available and we can just one-shot this team and get full banners with HK and T3 strapped to his back is what I'm hoping. So he didn't put a crazy defense down. It's still some decent teams. Like, we don't want to sleep on this Jedi Training Ray team either. So down here, I think, I think we can just use Grievous with Watt on this team and get decent banners, in fact. Bad Karma, what's up, man? Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a bit. Good to see you, though, as always. Good luck. I appreciate it. So I'm guessing we could probably do this without Watt, but I don't think I'm going to need Watt elsewhere anyways, hopefully. I've got enough good teams. Um, this should just work fine, and this way... This way we have a more guaranteed thing. Like, I, I think this... So this team can kill like a full Relic 7 version of this without without Ezra, like if you even if you add who's the other Jedi people usually add? Oh yeah, Grandmaster Yoda. Gosh, there's not even Yoda here. So the very first thing you want to do, because they usually mark Watt. They might kill Watt, in fact. Hopefully we can save him. But I'm guessing that's the last turn he'll take. So uh, we'll just keep trying to heal him. They don't Whoa, did I kill one of them? 
Whoa, what just happened? Is Yoda gone? Is Hoda just dead? I honestly didn't notice. Oh, yep, there he Oh, but he's back. <laughs> he's back, don't worry. Um, okay, who do we kill now? We can try to kill Ezra. We can, why don't we just try to kill Revan? There we go. Um, let's dispel all of the foresight there. Oh, come on, do not, don't kill him. Let me heal a little bit, please. There we go. Um, dispel this. Okay. All right, we might be okay, maybe. Perhaps. I just want good banners, guys. That's all I want here. Man. Okay, got that kill. Um, is this enough to... The real question is, can I heal? Like, can I get Magna Guard up and then him not end up dying? Because I think Grievous ends up having to kill... Uh, Jolie. Hopefully we can heal Watt enough. Hmm. Let's see. Tell you what, if we do this on Magna, then... Ah, oh, so close. So close to getting healed all the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, this might actually get Watt up. Not quite. Okay, one of the one of the three that looked like they were not quite enough protection actually got it. So, 58. I will take that. And then I think we use Commander Luke against this no relic team. I think Commander Luke does fine here. Solo, you ended with a 21-22. I, I actually didn't notice that. I was going to ask you. That's awesome, man. That's that's a really good score. <laughs> so let's... Uh... As, as Solo tells people why my, I failed at fleets. As the guy who hates fleets tells people why I failed at them. Um, let's do this, though. <laughs> yeah, let, then let's do take Chupio here, because he might be able to heal me at the end. Or he might just get focused down. We'll see. Nerd Cookie with a raid of one. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Appreciate that. Gotta focus down shock first. And now, we have to kill fives if possible. Um, yeah, let's do this. Do a big hit. Hopefully we can. Yeah, hopefully this will take him out. There we go. Kill Rex in one volley. Give him a volley! Um, let's see if we can stun here. Oh good, and now we can grow our protection back and finish with 60. Nice. That was neatly done. It worked out nicely. See what they've got in the back. Ooh. They've got their Commander Luke team and a pretty serviceable Nice Sister team. This guy has a decent defense. Let's see. What do we what do we have here? So I already used Watt, so Watt is not really available. I mean, this this Nice Sister team isn't that scary. The, uh, the Commander Luke team actually is a little bit, though. We, don't, we have to handle that carefully. I think I... Th th this is what sounds the craziest to me, though, guys. I think I might try Bounty Hunters into this Night Sisters team. I might just do it, depending on what we've got. I think, I think Bounty Hunters would work there. And then we may need to use Commander Luke on that... Or we may need... Gosh, I wish I had my Grievous team now. We could use it on this Luke team. I think I might need to use General Skywalker here, though. Regional Manager Vader. What's up, man? Shock and clones on sisters. I think Shock T is was on defense and died, actually. Troopers the nice sisters. My, my troopers on this account are not good. I keep looking at Discord, hoping my opponent has attacked me um, on my on my main. He hasn't though. What will I use Jedi Knight Revan on? That's the real question. So 
Let's see, we've got this Ray team that we can't sleep on. It's, it would be complete foolishness to sleep on it. I don't feel great about using Vader on that against that team, actually. So Jedi Knight Revan might need to go there, potentially. Um, like, I don't feel good with using Bounty Hunters there either, frankly. This team, this team, you, you ignore this team at your own risk, honestly. So Commander Luke is missing a Zeta. Which Zeta? Which one? Um, learn control. That's the one he probably should be missing, frankly. I mean, this isn't a fearsome team, really. They'll get that first shot. But otherwise, I mean, like General Skywalker would destroy this team pretty good, I think. Even with all the turn meter gains, like, there's just... It's just not well enough geared to really put up a fight against my Relic clones. But... Gig, let's see. You walked away for a while. My, the, sh the score on my main was... Let's see, 20... 2109, I believe. I failed an attack and got 2109. So, hopefully, hopefully we can actually pull it off here. But, let's see what kind of mods are on this squad. So, not a super fast... Oh, but they do have offense and... Hmm... This might just turn into another fiasco if we're not careful, guys. With bounty hunters. This modern says 2109? Yeah, I think 2109. Note to self, watch replay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, gosh, I just I want to... This guy has a good defense. So we've got, we've got Vader. I almost think we could take Vader against this team and still win. It's just a little bit trickier. Like, without Watt, it gets... It, it's worse, for sure. But... I think... I think we can do it. Especially because I, I have the relics, they don't. Like, we would need... I think we would need Palp lead, though. So I'd get all the turn meter. Can I... General Skywalker echo the Night Sisters and take Rex lead against Commander Luke? Uh... I don't think that's... I think that would probably end in disaster, actually. Um, it's a good idea, Dodie Beast. We gotta, we gotta be cautious here. This is, this is serious business. Um, let's see. I almost wonder if my Boba could just one-shot this spirit, though. Yeah, this is not much health or protection, and she'll have that foresight if Boba gets a, actually gets a turn. I guess that's the that's the thing we need to look at here. Um, so 188. I feel like I just looked at these, but... 222. Gig with the cheer. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you so much. 100 biddies. I will take it. So, let's see what my bounty hunters have. So, here's what they are. They're gear 12 for the most part, but they do have decent mods. Boba is at 273. So Bosk would go, I think, maybe Asajj would go next or something, but then Boba would go after that. And he could just one-shot Spirit and set things off the right way. I don't know, we have one to give, we can fail one. I mean, that might spell the end of our aspirations to get to top, whatever place. Um, the other option, I guess, would be like General Skywalker here with one other, with one other like like fives or something and then just throw get the meat bag title on this one like i think i think that would work we wouldn't get any hits back though and and then i don't know who would kill this team except for general or except for luke or except for jet uh, jet and it Revan. yeah I, I think guys we're gonna try the bounty hunters here yeah, Cad is pretty good here for for those reasons, guys. Um, for being able to dispel and being able to uh, double tap all this stuff. If I have Zeta, Barris, and R2, it's worth considering. I have R2, I don't have Barris at all. She's embarrassing, in fact. Um, let's just try it, guys. I have pretty great faith in my bounty hunters on this account. Let's... Let's see if it's well-founded or not. Okay, so we've got this. 
All right, so let's set them on fire. Um, so if we do a burst attack, let's see. So Boba's gonna go next. Let's just do a basic here. And then let's see if we can just kill Spirit. There we go. Okay, so execute Spirit. And now I think, I think, I mean, okay, we can, Dengar can heal everyone except for Bosk apparently. What the hell? There we go, that, that healed him though. Wait, he's still got Plague though. What? It's very confusing. He must have had just like a tiny bit of health gone that we just couldn't see or something. Okay, they hit the guy who could afford to be hit. That's good. A stun spirit. Um, let's just do a big hit on Talzin. And do the AoE here. Uh, kill. Ah, oh, that didn't even kill zombie. And now I'm stunned like crazy. Let's see. Ooh, we could kill Daka here. Nice. Okay, and we have the we have the Zeta on Django, so that, that death is permanent. Um, they're witches, they need to be on fire. Any witch out there is in want of being on fire, I think. Damn it all, I didn't kill her. Hopefully Django gets a turn soon and is able to rectify that. Let's see. Okay, get the heal here. Um, let's see, Talzin's gonna get a turn soon. I don't wanna, I really don't wanna kill her though, and Django's about to take a turn as well. I don't know, maybe we get lucky here. Nice, okay. Kill Talzin. Okay, we got it. We've got it. Just need to make sure we've got... I think we'll get all the banners anyways. If we try to stun, there we go. Ability block. Oh, they didn't. That was foolish, okay. okay the, now maybe we won't get full banners. We'll see. Uh, if we double tap here, we might, though. 59, all right, I will take it. Doty Beast with 10. <laughs> you guys are are extremely enamored with my uh, extreme skill, of course. <laughs> Thank God we had a redemption arc, guys. This has been a good stream. A, a redemption arc and everything. Oh, and the abattoir, cheering for 300 biddies. Thank you, sir. And you said redemption. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you, sir. Oh, let's donate to this dude here. Oh, look at that. My my opponent attacked. He got 51 banners against something. We can go check on that in a minute here before we do Prevail Man. Let's see. Witches with a one. <laughs> Let's see, guys. So we've got this Ray team. Ah, oh, man. So Vader's gonna just... Oh, you know what we could do? We could take Vader and have him walk T3 and company through some through Phoenix or something. Uh, that, that probably works just fine, in fact. Let's do that. That, that would work nicely. So now we can, we can, in good conscience, take General Skywalker out here, or use General Skywalker. Tempted to only take four. Probably works. Don <laughs> Doty Beach with the with the night sister warches witches. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much with the, for that cheer, man. That was that was a huge cheer. Th a thousand bits. Thank you so much, man. You, wow. Thank you so much. Okay, they, they got, so they cleared my front zone, it looks like. He got a 56 against the other team. So 51 and then 56. So we're, we're going to go back and look at my main account real quick after this, guys. Af after we're done with the alt. And then we'll do Prevail Man and peace out. <coughs> drop Echo. I mean, I could drop Echo. I, I think we're still good. Like, Relic 5 is just going to wreck this whole team. I think, I think actually Echo, Echo's the one we don't really need. I just, it makes Rex slower, it makes everyone, it makes Skywalker a little less hardy. You know. Just makes me, makes me feel a little sketchy-er. I think this, this should still work. Alright, so. 
want to immediately kill Chewie if we can. Probably should have actually just tried to kill uh, Chupio there. But, um, let's see, we'll give this to Rex. Um, sure, let's do this, and now we can daze all the people, potentially. Let's try to just kill Chupio here. Oh, accidentally killed Han. Um, oh, you know what? Let's do kill Chupio here, because he's about to do something ill-advised to us and steal our banners. Damn it all, don't steal our banners. Those banners are ours. They came to us. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Got it. <laughs> Kyber, here we are. Kyber, I am in you. Alright, that was a little crude. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Kind of. Let's go claim... Let's go claim that feat, though, real quick. 25 biddies. It's potato time. What does that even mean? <laughs> okay, let's claim this one. You guys want to see what Division 2 Kyber looks like? I think this is the same. Maybe this, too. The rest... <laughs> the rest is... Uh, it's good. But it's not Division 1, but it's still pretty good. Let's try to get meat bags here, guys. Let's see what our rank is. 42 right now. Oh, that's before we claimed feats, though. We're at 28 now, without clearing eh, the top zones at all. Hopefully Kyber gave permission first. <laughs> Kyber... I think... I, I like to think that they did. <laughs> Okay, so first off, let's take out this Ray team, and then we'll figure out a, a Vader team to use against something. Um, okay, so we've got Revan. This has been a tricky one, guys. I'm glad you're here with me for it. This is actually, in some ways, more interesting than my main account. I think we use the full team here, guys. I think that's wise. See, my opponent got a 52 on one of my teams as well, so he's dropping some banners. He dropped 9, 8, and 4 so far, so 20-something. Like he's, at, he's already at risk of losing to me, so that's good. Um, okay, so we want to... Let's, let's actually focus here, though. Um, okay, so we got this. Let's see. None of these guys actually have retribution, so we can do the AoE, and now we can spread some of our own retribution. Uh, let's see. Let's just see if we can take out Scav right now before she goes into stealth. Nice. Let's try to steal some turn meter on R2 <laughs> by killing him. Give some turn meter to Yoda here. Uh, give more turn meter. He'll miss, but he'll get turn meter from it. Uh, let's see. We'll just do a basic here. And oh, does that? That's gonna. That's going to ruin it, isn't it? Ruin our perfect banners. That might be just enough to squeak by. Yeah, 60 still. Sweet. Kate Gaming's here. What's up? The famous Zara. Whatever. The famous Kate Gaming, guys. You guys should have seen how many people were watching her. They were like, they were coming out in droves, guys. It was crazy. And Ando's here, too. Good to see you here, Ando. If you aren't first, you're last, T-Bone Kelly said. I must, I missed that. You guys chatted a lot, actually. <laughs> Sorry for ignoring you. If I was fighting solo, you would... Let's see. Let's see. Alt is still going. Take the top spot. I'm trying. I'm trying. We gotta figure this out. So, I think we use... I think we use full resistance against Phoenix... And then I'll use Vader to just take this whole team out and strap HK and uh, HK and T3 onto onto Vader's back, and we'll use like Palp as well. But uh, for now, let's use Resistance just in case something goes south. We need to know that, right? We need to know this stuff. So I like I, I'm pretty sure, even though I'm only Gear Nine on everyone important i still think still think we got this especially they don't have they don't have ezra which ezra is actually not great against him but he's also the guy who hits the hardest sabine is also 
Not the best. We'll put we'll put smoke on R2 because he can take a hit. Um, let's see. So we're gonna get a lot of turns. We want to keep Hera out of the mix though for a little bit. No days on her though. Damn it all. Um, let's just cycle through. Get Jedi training right. Whoa, there's there goes Sabine, and let's try to take out Hera right now. In fact, that didn't quite work. We're in stealth though, so we can throw a grenade of healing, and no one's gonna hit us back. Uh, try to get the stun on Chopper. Nice. Um, let's see. So they can still hit me back. Just those two. And one of them will try to hit Foresight. I don't know if I'm going to get enough time, though. Let's actually... I want to set them on fire, guys. You, you don't understand quite how much I want to do that. But let's do this just so we don't get a ding on protection. So, yeah, let's let's finish off Hera here. Um, yeah, do some damage to Kanan. And let's see. So Zeb might hit us back. Let's, let's see who's going to take the next turn. Zeb, it looks like Zeb might take the next turn. Let's see if we can just focus him down. Nice. Got him. Set them on fire now. <laughs> and uh, when Kate watches Hamilton, you'll drink. That is amazing. <laughs> I full wholeheartedly approve of that deal. <clears throat> All right, so now we got to be careful here. Uh, the famous Kate Gaming actually recently just tried a Vader solo on really bad Rogue One. I won't spoil it. Uh, it didn't end up the way she thought it would end, though. We'll we'll just say that. So let's see. Oh, we, I think they're both droids. In fact, let's see. HK, which would make sense considering it's like droid theme week or something. Let's see. This is some overkill. So, guys, just to be clear, I want the feet. That's that's what we're doing here, is the feet. Zareth doesn't stop overkills, not even for the younglings. Guys, I'm honestly, for real, thinking of taking Thrawn here as well. I, I don't think we need to. I think Vader probably just kills everyone as he does the circle. So let's see, we can do this. We can do the AoE here. I forget if they gain turn meter for it though. Let's let's do the AoE though. We'll get we'll get full turn meter. We'll get more than they would gain anyways. So we'll throw it Jin, because she can revive them. We'll hit Vistin and Cassian. And I'm just gonna do this to K2, even though this they'll both resist it because I want I didn't want him to hit me back um, so let's see okay this is this isn't great because he's gonna hit me back now not for much though I guess we can just uh, dispel there you go t3 you made yourself useful that was cool do you guys see that t3 was actually useful we got 61 and should that should get us the meat bag title as well. Let's go get it, shall we? Woohoo! We got it! And now we're rank 12. Alright, we're getting closer, guys. We're climbing. We're climbing. Looks like my opponent cleared another zone, guys. If I got bad banners on it, maybe? I can't tell for sure. He's attacking, though. We can go check it out. So, we still got a clear here. Okay, so they don't have anything crazy, at least. Let's see if they have the Falcon. I feel like I've been checking that a lot. If the people have the Falcon, it's, whoops. Clicked on the wrong thing here. I don't see a Falcon. Well, I see that Falcon. Do they just, okay, so how, do, they must just. 
so confusing. So they don't have the Falcon. Uh, okay. That's so weird. My my Division 10 alt has the Falcon. Like, it's not that not that hard. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bojangles. I don't I don't mean to be too harsh. A little bit though. You kinda deserve it a little bit. I'm kind of angry at you. Um, let's use malevolence here against the rebels. Not with the Falcon though. Jeez. Let's see what we can do here. Should we just take this and no soldier? I think that's warranted. Because his Phoenix aren't that great. And he doesn't have the Falcon. Maybe this is a little too confident, but we're trying to get as many banners as we can. I, I think we can win this with, with there's no Falcon. If there is Falcon, it's it's definitely worth actually taking a look at uh, and actually like using the full fleet. Um, let's see. Tell you what, let's actually just. Because if we do the AOE, that will actually cleanse. That'll cleanse Biggs. We don't want that. Let's actually. Ah, that was probably the bad, a bad move, actually, guys. Um, the thing is, we do want to kill Biggs if we can, though, while he has all of those Buzz Droids. I should have done one of the things that summons Buzz Droids, though. That was that was my mistake. Or Buzz Droids, uh huh, Vultures. There we go. All right. Now we have some vultures. Did I start with the wrong fleet? Like, what? I feel like I should have... Oh, I should have another vulture, but I just didn't summon him. I'm just being dumb. Don't mind me, folks. Or do, as you will. Cassian, you dodged? How dare you? Okay, let's do what I did on my main and just finish it with Spy. Cool. Cool. 65, very good. Oh yeah, there's no Millennium Falcon. <laughs> you guys are right. I'm so habituated to that. Gosh. I mean, it's still a good score, but I need to remember that Fal Falcon has to be in to cleanse. You're absolutely right about that. I'm sure that if Kate had been playing, she would have gotten it. Yeah, guys, uh, I saw Master FX say good luck on a perfect season to Ando. And uh, you guys should check out Ando. He's in the chat. Click on his link here. He's Ando1990, for those of you watching on YouTube. Uh, he's in the GAC uh, group, the Gambit Alliance of Creators. He's a, he's a top-notch player, and he is right now. He has a great chance of going to at least 10 and 0. Did you actually end up winning Ando, or did you... Uh, you got a really good score, I think, uh, tonight. He's got, he's got a shot to go 12-0. and 0. He's worth watching. So, go check him out. And and while you're at it, it, it in the very small possibility that uh, you guys haven't heard of Kate Gaming, go go click on her on her link as well. Um, what other streamers do we have? Uh, check out MasterFX as well. He's, uh, he's also he's about to get his second Kybra. That's exciting as well. I figured I should shout him out. So, that being said, enough giving glory to other people. Let's take our own glory and into our own hands, shall we? I think... Yeah, let's see, we got Biggs. I'm making sure I'm not being too distracted here. Yeah, this is the team I want. Make sure this is Cassian's ship. Not that they're good pilots, but... Like, he's, he's the best reinforcement ever. No attack yet on Ando. Okay, that's fine. My guy's clearing me, guys, for one shots on my main. I don't know if it's enough for me to be able to beat him or not. I truly have no idea. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's kill this Sith Assassin first out of spite. Like, what the hell are you even doing in this fleet, man? Kill this guy now as well. Like, what are you even doing in a fleet, man? And now... Let's see. Yeah, we can do this. Oh, we don't have target lock, though. 
Hmm, okay. Let's just let's just do what I've done on my other fights and bring this guy in to finish him before there's no reinforcements. Before there's any reinforcements. 67, perfect. And I think that means we win despite being full cleared. In fact, we win with good banners. That was pretty good. See how close we are to top spot, shall we? We're only in number three right now. Oh, I guess we could get that arena battle one. So that's worth 160. Let's see where see where we're at here. Hmm. Okay. So this fish guy. I don't know. I don't know. If we get that arena feat, maybe we pass him. This guy actually. Oh, this is cool. This guy is in. I used to be in a guild. This account used to be in this guy's guild. I'm gonna have to. Sh Shout him out. This is cool. He, uh, the Hills of Jedi's was the first guild that my alt was in. I like this guy. This is cool. Good for him. He's doing well. Whew. All right, guys. Well, that was cool. We're in the running for top 10, at least. Strong in the running for top 10. That was a great score. Like, if I could get that score two more times, that'll be perfect. All right, guys, we are doing the second match now. Uh, <laughs> this is, it's weird not to give my normal intro, and this is weird also because I'm, uh, I, I normally don't do a voiceover. I normally just let you guys watch the raw footage, but, uh, of my stream, but we did record it on the Gambit server, or uh, the Gambit Twitch channel, I should say, and uh, so all of my recordings were actually just like one-sided so if I was talking to the other people on the stream You wouldn't be able to hear their responses. You just hear me like Waiting and so if they talked for like three minutes you guys would just get like three minutes of silence and that's not necessarily what I want to do here, so uh, And and the match kind of lasted longer just because I was explaining things to the guest uh, with us on on our Friday night fight so Anyways, this is what you guys get. You get to see, you get a voiceover this time. Um, yeah, the, my opponent, I should give you guys just a little bit of preamble just so you understand. My opponent is, gosh, now I forget if he was undefeated or if he decided to only lost like one or something up to this point, but he was already in Kyber and uh, had a really strong roster, had, had a lot of really good things going for them, but they put down a defense that... <laughs> it was it was kind of indefensible, uh, so to speak. So uh, let's let's just jump into it, guys. I'll, I'll show you guys their defenses and uh, my defenses didn't really change from the last one. So I'm not going to show you guys that until the end. I'll show you guys how my opponent did. So uh, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So let's see. Let's rewind here. <laughs> All right, here's here's their overview, guys. Here's the overview. He hadn't attacked yet. That's fine. Uh, but you can see he's got Ewoks on defense already. Um, okay, I put this this top defense down first, apparently. Um, so he's got he's got like a low gear Karth team. They do have some Zetas. Uh, he's got some nice sisters, all pretty low gear. Although I can't really judge too much, my own nice sisters are not high gear on this account. And then the shock clones team, it's like it's it's about to make something of itself, but it's only gear 12 in a gear 13 world. So uh, on the bottom, he's also this is pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> he's got he's got the newt team, and then he's got grievous kind of hidden in there. He's got decent health on that grievous actually. 64k health for gear 12 is not bad. Uh, and then he also has, uh, with that gear 12, he also has crit damage set, I believe. So kind of like somewhat scary squad, but again, gear 12 in a gear 13 world. And then the Ewok squad does not have good mods. It is totally just a throw in. Um, I was going to scout my opponent, actually. I was totally going to do it, and he didn't have a GA C history, so I couldn't see it. Uh, but yeah, this, this Ewok squad, man, it's... It's not modded well. It's not modded well at all. So we gotta beat the uh, we gotta beat the bottom zone first. And so you can see here. Yeah, let's move it over here. All right. And you guys couldn't see anything, but uh, we're using Jedi Revan here with Basti lead. I do have the Basti Zeta, um, and the the goal here is just to provide 
uh, a pretty thick wall of like they can't do any debuffs to me they can't uh, you know like no target lock is a huge thing for a grievous team so um I don't really remember how target lock interacts with grievous when he's not the leader but when he is the leader it's a pretty big deal and it might be a big big deal anyways um one way or another that all of their debuffs are a pretty big deal and if you if basti lead can give you enough tenacity to just ignore the initial barrage of them it's pretty nice so as you can see i did the same kind of tricks uh just try to get b2 out in the open uh killed him and then uh we just gotta just gonna kill Grievous here. I don't know. I I was going to just start hitting him, but then he was gonna put Mark on B1 anyways. And remember, guys, we're trying for top spot. We're trying for number one because the only guy who's really ahead of me right now is a cheater. Like he he's very obviously a cheater, and so uh, he's been reported. He's not going to. I don't think he's gonna win. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Who knows, I can't speak for CG, but I'm trying to get top, as many points as I can, just to, so I can get the top spot. Uh, and so I'm trying to get as many banners, obviously, as I can. You can see that Basti is a little bit worrisome here. She's the one that I'm like, I don't know. It's hard to tell if she's got bonus protection uh, just a little bit, or if she's uh, got some missing protection, so... Uh, anyways, once I finally got Mark back from Revan here, we're just gotta kill Grievous. He's easy to kill, man. It, like he's at a at gear twelve, he's at one third of his total max health. Uh, so I don't know, just not good. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, so the hope, of course, is that Basti is uh, going to be able to tank this last this last hit from Newt and. Paying my taxes, I was like, man, if I can, if I can just heal this a little bit, like, so I'm, I'm, I called Hermit Yoda just to heal protection a little bit, if I could, I mean, that's only 5%, but every bit helps, is what I heard, I've heard that, I guess there I have, I've heard it, and I did end up with 60, so happy enough with that, now we gotta kill these uncircumcised Ewoks, uh, no Zeta on them, I, get, I figured my gear nine resistance might be able to beat them they're all gear 11 i believe so we got to manage their turn meter their ewok elder was actually reasonably fast like he was like the one who was modded okay in the whole squad and yeah uh so we need to manage it using ray jedi training ray is all about control so it, it's like okay who do you want I, I can control who you're gonna attack with r2d2 i can control uh, who has days, who has ability block, I can stun different people, I can heal when I want to. See, I'm in stealth, so I threw at Wicket there with Finn because he couldn't, I wasn't going to be able to be hit back. Though, now that I'm saying that, uh, that's a foolish statement because they wouldn't, they don't have retribution anyways. But it's nice when there is a stealth up, I think that there's going to be something like, oh yeah, when there is retribution up, yeah, here, here's where it's relevant. So, the question is like what what exactly do we do we don't want them to get any hits on us because they're we're gear nine probably not going to recover a bunch of hit points if that's the case so i'm trying to figure out what a, what to do i'm not in stealth anymore so i don't want to throw my aoe because they're going to hit me back and steal banners which i don't want we want max banners and so uh, it was either shoot chirpa who was almost dead or shoot logre who was dazed and could not hit back but it wasn't going to be throw the grenade of healing uh, i was just going to be to shoot um it was going to be the single shot and i did manage to kill chirpa there which was fantastic and now we just want to avoid i mean logre can't do his daze move right now because he's got ability block uh, now that we're in stealth, we can throw the grenade of healing and no one can hit us back. And it's all about control, guys. I mean, gear 9 totally works anyways. So, uh, <clears throat> was a little nervous about what we'd find in the back zone. But uh, I didn't really need to be worried, as it turns out. So, um, just a pretty weak Mothra squad, uh, Phoenix squad, with one random Zeta on Kanan. We gotta go up top, though. Here's the gear 12 clone team. Uh, so we want to kill, we got to kill Shock T 
as quick as we can first, because she's going to gain turn meter every time we hit her. She's going to hand out retribution. Then we got to kill fives. Now, fives is tough to kill, but we don't want to make super clones, because he does have the Zeta. <clears throat> and then I could have done the AoE, but I wanted to stun Rex so that he didn't give his whole team turn meter and the ability to do all kinds of uh, ill-advised stuff. And now it's... Uh, they haven't taken a turn, really, so... We're good to go. 60 banners. Good to go. <laughs> so, that that's right. Good to go. 60 banners. Good to go. Um, <laughs> that's not, not a phrase that's probably going to find much success with me. Uh, but now we, I'm taking taking Bounty Hunters against these Night Sisters. It's a Saj lead. Bounty Hunters do better against a Saj lead than Talzin because Bounty Hunters don't like the Plague. They don't like, uh, they don't like the extra potency that Talzin hands out. And uh, they don't like all the revives that happen. So, uh, Saj lead, man. People say that she's better, and she used to be. I, I feel like she used to be. But Talzin is so much tougher to kill. Like, use Talzin lead if you can. I mean, it, you need the Zeta, of course. So if you only have the Saj Z lead Zeta, that's better than, uh, than the Talzin non-lead Zeta. But if you have both, or if you're going to apply one, then do the Asaj or do the Talzin Zeta. Now, <clears throat> I'm trying to get my contract, we're at 70% here, uh, but Talia was hanging out there with some debuffs, I figured Boba could just take her out of the equation with an execute, that's exactly what I did. Now Django uh, also can kill on his turn, he can do an insta-kill, so, or a perma-kill, so did that to Daka there, just to get her out of the picture as well. Not because we're afraid of her revives, because as you know, we executed Talia, she wasn't coming back, but uh, she was stunning us at a pretty high rate, and that's just not necessarily the best thing. Um, so now I'm waiting around. I don't really want to kill either of these uh, Night Sisters because the second I kill one of them, then Zombie will just sacrifice herself and uh, bring them back to life. And we don't want that. We just want clean kills, so wait for Django to take a turn. Uh, kill someone and now we got to be careful. We don't want to ramp Asajj up too much But at the same time, I really wanted to get enough debuffs applied to people that we could heal uh, And get full banners <clears throat> So the the key here was waiting for Dengar to throw his his grenades of healing uh, He finally did and Django got a twofer. So pretty cool another 60 and right now I am at a perfect 60 or rather 240 out of 240 on my team, so uh, pretty cool. We're going down to the bottom zone again. We're ta I only took three characters here, so Vader lead uh, with Watt and Piet, so there's no revives if Vader kills you. Um, now one wrinkle to all of this is K2 <clears throat> can't be debuffed here. So, tell you what guys, let me pause this for one second. All right, my apologies. I really needed to clear my throat. <laughs> I'm not going to do a retake here. I just can't spend the time. So, uh, anyways, K2 can't be debuffed, but all these guys are so low gear, guys. That's that's how I got away with this. So, I, I figured I'm just going to go around the table. I think I can just do, do one Force Crush and then just do Basics after that. So, I put the Force Crush on K2 because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get any... Uh, debuffs on him anyways I didn't want him to hit me back and I threw the saber at him killed him uh, gear 8 characters aren't gonna hold up to a uh, relic 3 Vader um, now I did undersized with General Grievous here against the Phoenix and uh, I was a little surprised at how effective his one AoE was but um, yeah <laughs> we just totally destroyed them Clearly could have gone undersized here, uh, or clearly was responsible to be undersized. So now, I'm actually at, like, plus three banners total. Like, I'm three under par, or whatever. So, you know, if I... I yeah, it's a pretty cool situation. Um, we're just gonna take my Relic 5, General Skywalker, and Relic 0, Rex, and try to get an undersize here, because they're, they're all super low gear. And Relic 5, Skywalker hits like a truck, so they're doing some damage to him. Uh, I was I was never going to actually get 
a uh, the protection banners from Skywalker, though it was nice. They didn't get any AoEs off, so they didn't hit Rex. So now, now I'm at a plus five or five under par for squads uh, going into this. So I mean, <laughs> that's, that's a, I, I get pretty good scores sometimes. I I never never really at this point though. This this was a pretty epically bad defense. Um, so jumped in this is not negotiator this is the endurance he did not have negotiator and so we just want to take out their uh, anakin now this this is a little tricky because anakin is relic seven and uh, their other characters are all like gear 12 or higher so like this, this isn't a scrub team it's not it's not bad um it's it's also not great i mean yeah, it's just, I don't know. It, I hate the statement, it is what it is, because that, that statement solves nothing. Like, it, it actually doesn't say, it doesn't mean a single thing. Uh, but, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, this, this, squad, this squad dies very easily to rebels a lot of times, because the things that endurance does well the falcon just negates so hard like the the endurance is like i assign taunt to a random character doesn't matter if they're a tank or not and falcon says ha ha i unassign them and and then does like he just dispels on basic and he he gets the falcon gets so many basics that it just doesn't the endurance can't keep up with the falcon i remember having a talk with uh my my podcast co-host solo uh, about it back back when uh, Falcon had first come out and he was convinced that Mace was still going to be relevant and I was like dude he just isn't he can't be like <laughs> I don't even know everything that the Falcon does but I, I think the Falcon just that dispel is enough um, anyways I, I was a little disappointed I, I brought in Cassian and Cassian only has like gear 8 pilots, they don't even have full stars, like it, it's very, very fragile, like it's just there to serve a purpose, like come in, call an assist, and die, if it survive or if it, if the battle doesn't end, and the battle didn't end, so uh, Cassian died, everyone else was basically at full health, so I still got 63, but uh, could have gotten a 67, so I dropped 4 there, uh, still 1 under par, I think, um, so we're bringing malevolence here against this this empire fleet. I don't remember if this is Chimera or Tarkin, but uh, let's see. Oh gosh, I had a heart attack there. I thought I had frozen. Um, I hadn't though. I had not, as you can see. Uh, so there's no silencer here, and there's a Imperial Tie Fighter here. It's it's pretty weird, guys. I don't advise this. I don't think that's a good option. Uh, but, I mean, my, my opponent, though, he had really high lifetime banners. Like, he clearly works really well with this strategy. So, I don't know. I got 67, and I ended up with either one or two over the soft max. So, pretty good score here. And now... Let's actually get it to, I'll show you guys what happened. So we're going to transition to the point where after he made attack. So instant gratification, guys. You can see what happened immediately. Let's go. All right. So uh, not only has Teddy Q joined the guild, I also won. And uh, my opponent, he saved so much for offense, and my defense isn't, like, the hardest thing ever. He got, he didn't get great banners, he got, he got in the, like, 55 to 57 range a lot. Uh, I actually did put the, put a bot on him, just to see, you know, like, I, I plugged it into his account just to see what his efficiency was. And, uh, so anyways, he beat these two squads with one shot, beat these two squads with one shot... And at one point, the bot just, like, hung up for a minute and didn't really do anything. So, um, it didn't say what my, <laughs> what, like, it just said, like, your opponent has gained 500-some lifetime banners. So, it's just a big lump anyways. But, one shot all of these, and then he got to the fleets, and lost to Negotiator. Which, I mean, you know, that's what you expect. But, 
Uh, he, w he wasn't efficient enough to beat me anyway, so uh, let's do let's do math. Let's do live math, guys. You guys love that, right? Um, you love watching watching these Grand Arena things live, and then you live watching love watching math as well. I'm sure. So let's see, 1873. If he had gotten perfect banners on Negotiator, so we'd have gotten uh, 186. Whoops. That's 186 plus if he had gotten perfect a perfect 66 on negotiator he would have gotten a 2125 against me so that would have been a pretty pretty strong score though as you can see I have more than 2125 I in fact I have 16 more than him so how's that for live math guys uh, <laughs> anyways uh, we're in the finals guys we're actually I'm in the I'm in the running, guys. I'm in contention for the top spot. I am. I know it says rank 11. I haven't deployed my defenses yet. I'm actually going to scout and do all that stuff. Um, this guy is the one who is who has a chance to beat me. Maybe I, maybe these other guys do too. I'm not sure. After I deploy, I'll be able to have a better idea. But uh, this, guy, this guy, folks, is absolutely a cheater. Um... If you go to his GAC history, 100%, no question that he uh, does cheat in Grand Arena. He's about 100 banners ahead of me. And, I mean, I could maybe cut it down. Like, I could maybe even beat him legitimately. I mean, if he APKs and gets a ton of banners, probably not. But he doesn't have Probe Droid. So I could potentially uh, get, like, an extra 90 on top of what he does um, if, if my opponent's right. My next patch is going to be rough though guys, he's got, he always, always deploys General Skywalker and his 501st on defense and his, and they are a rough team, let me show you guys that. Look at this, 7, Relic 7 on Skywalker, and he's put like, Relic upgrades on his Skywalker, and then, jeez, why, why have you done this? Um, then Relic 7 on 5s, Relic 5 on the rest, like... The squad is nuts. Going to be very tough. He's out top 100 in arena. Uh, puts this on defense every time. I don't know if my Relic 5 Skywalker and Relic 0 clones can hack. Like, it can hang. I... Who knows? Who really knows? So, uh, going to be an interesting fight. Finals are going to be epic. We'll see if, if, if I can do well. And the feats are nuts, guys. The feats are so crazy, actually. Let me show you. Um... Uh, you know, I'll get the Fleet Commander one. Look at this. I have to get K2SO, Ugnaught, Imperial Probe Droid. I have all of them unlocked. But they are all terrible. Probe Droid, I think, is just gear one, level one. Uh, Ugnaught, I think, is the same. K2SO might have, like, gear seven or eight, but that's bad. The worst one, though, guys, is five faithful droid companions. I have to win a Grand Arena battle, and this is in the finals of the final week. I have to do both of these. How can you How can you do both of these? It is nuts. But five faithful droid companions. Let me show you the droid companions so you guys can see um, how to do this. So go to your inbox, go to newsletter, and then they have these things here. They always post them. So... This is the built loyally one. That's the one that we have to get kills with. We've already done that. Um, oh no. No, maybe this is it actually. Built. Oh yeah. So these these are the ones that we have to use. Never mind. So I have to win a fight with five of these guys. I can't undersize. I can't. Like I have to use five. And all of mine are garbage. I have like a gear twelve or gear thirteen R two gear twelve three PO, and the rest of them just go downhill pretty quick. So. Guys, it's going to be an epic fight. Um, I hope you guys want to see it, are excited to see it. I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, anything could happen. I hope we win. But one way or another, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things, Zareth prevails.